Blessed be the God of our salvation, who bears our burdens and forgives our sins. Welcome to Midday Prayer from St John's Church in Edinburgh. My name is Phil and together with my husband Wren, we thank you for joining us. During this Lenten journey, we commence our midday prayers by praying with words from Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence, and blameless when you pass judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner when my mother conceived me. You desire truth in the inward being. Therefore teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain in me a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from bloodshed, O God. O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For you have no delight in sacrifice. If I were to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Habakkuk. I will stand at my watch post and station myself on the rampart. I will keep watch to see what he will say to me and what he will answer concerning my complaint. Then the Lord answered me and said, Write this vision, make it plain on tablets, so that a runner may read it. For there is still a vision for the appointed time. It speaks of the end and does not lie. If it seems to tarry, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. Look at the proud. Their spirit is not right in them, but the righteous live by their faith. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Let us pray with words from Psalm 85. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people, to his faithful, to those who turn to him in their hearts. Surely his salvation is at hand for those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground. And righteousness will look down from the sky. The Lord will give what is good and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him and will make a path for his steps. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading.
reading from Mark. The apostles gathered around Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a deserted place by themselves. Now many saw them going and recognised them, and they hurried there on foot from all of the towns and arrived ahead of them. As he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to, to God. God. The Canticle, a song of Christ's goodness by Anselm of Canterbury. Jesus, as a mother, you gather your people to you. You are gentle with us as a mother with her children. Often you weep over our sins and our pride. Tenderly you draw us from hatred and judgment. You comfort us in sorrow and bind up our wounds. In sickness you nurse us, and with pure milk you feed us. Jesus, by your dying, we are born to new life. By your anguish and labour we come forth in joy. Despair turns to hope through your sweet goodness. Through your gentleness we find comfort in fear. Your warmth gives life to the dead. Your touch makes sinners righteous. Lord Jesus, in your mercy, heal us. In your love and tenderness, remake us. In your compassion, bring grace and forgiveness. For the beauty of heaven, may your love prepare us. On the 20th of March, the church honours the memory of Cuthbert. At St John's, we have transferred this year's Feast of St Cuthbert's to today. St Cuthbert was a monk and bishop who worked as a pastoral missionary in 7th century Northumbria. He entered Melrose Abbey around the year 651 and from there began his evangelistic work in the surrounding countryside. After several years in the field, he retired to Lindisfarne, an island off the northeastern coast of England, in order to practice the silence and secrecy of the hermit's life of contemplation. But he still visited the mainland in regular missionary pilgrimages, often spending up to a month at a time away from his island cell. The Venerable Bede later noted that Cuthbert used especially to make for those places and preach in those villages that were far away on steep and rugged mountains, which others dreaded to visit and whose poverty and ignorance kept other teachers away. Even after he was made Bishop of Lindisfarne in the year 684, he continued to alternate between the hidden labours of prayer on his island retreat and the strenuous work of missionary journeys on the mainland. He died three years later and his body was eventually laid to rest in Durham Cathedral, where vast numbers of pilgrims visited his shrine throughout the Middle Ages. Let us pray. Eternal God, by the holy life and preaching of your blessed servant Cuthbert, you sought a straying people and restored them to your fold. Grant us so to follow his example that we may obey your heavenly summons and shape our deeds and devotion for the salvation of all who seek our aid. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Strengthen us, O Lord, by your grace, that in your might we may overcome all spiritual enemies and with pure hearts serve you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Almighty Saviour, who at noonday called your servant St Paul to be an apostle to the Gentiles. We pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory, that all nations may come and worship you, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Today, as we recall Cuthbert's life of mission and evangelism, we pray for all those working to make the power of God's love a reality across the world. But especially here, where we ourselves are part of that mission. Give us the strength of faith to be examples of God's love for his whole world, particularly to all those with whom we live and work and have our being. There are so many ways in which we long for your love to break through in situations and places throughout the world. For one short moment, may each of us hold up one such situation or person in our hearts and minds to represent all our longings to see your kingdom rule here in your world as we say together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. For, for thine is, is the kingdom, kingdom the power, and the glory, forever and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The grace, grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.